Welcome. All right, so what I have is theta equals 5 pi over 6. And in this example, what I want to do is find two um, coterminal angles, the smallest positive and the smallest negative angle. That, and remember, coterminal angles have exactly the same initial side and terminal side. So first of all, let's go and plot what uh, that angle would look like. So if I was going to break this up into 6, right, you can see my angle is going to be right there. Okay. I'll just kind of lose these extra little spokes that I have. All right, so that's my angle. There's my initial. There's my terminal side. So to find the smallest uh, positive coterminal angle, remember to have the same initial and terminal side, well, if I add a revolution, which in terms of radians would represent 2 pi, right? Because the distance all the way around the circle is 2 pi. Let me actually choose a different color to maybe help you out with that. If I go ahead and add a revolution, that means add 2 pi, my angle, now the black including the red, still has the same initial and same terminal side. So how do I represent adding this whole revolution? Well, I simply can just add 2 pi. Now in this case, 2 pi is equivalent to uh, 12 pi over 6. And the reason why, you know, 12 divided by 6 is 2. The reason why I want to rewrite that is because these denominators have to be the same. So to do that, I can multiply by 6 over 6. That's how I got 12 pi over 6. But rather than having to do all that math, I'm just going to write that on 12 pi over 6. So therefore, you can see my first coterminal angle, the smallest positive, is going to be 17 pi over 6. Now let's go and look at a smallest negative coterminal. That means the, neg the angle is going to have to be negative. So rather than adding 2 pi, I could also, what about instead of, let's say, if I start here and I go in a negative direction. Now, I understand that the, the initial side and terminal side are not the same here. But if I take this angle and I subtract it from 360, then what that's going to do is that's going to leave me, if I subtract this from 360, that's just going to leave me this angle, which is going to be the negative version of that. So to show, to represent this, I just take 5 pi over 6 minus 2 pi, which we know is 12 pi over 6, right? Which we know is 12 pi over 6. So now I go ahead and subtract those. And that's going to leave me now with my smallest negative um, angle, which is negative 7 pi. Seven pi over six. I don't know why I had a little loop of confusion there. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are your two coterminal angles. Thanks.